Hey, what's up guys? Dustin here, Adam Off-Road. In today's video, we're going to be talking and discussing a few things about the Autel Maxi Sys and why I think it's a great option for troubleshooting and diagnosing anything that has to do with Chrysler 3.6, Pentastar engines, Jeep Wranglers, and we'll hook it up to the Jeep and I'll show you some diagnosis and some services that this thing will offer if you are a DIYer or someone who owns the 3.6 Pentastar engines. So without further ado, let's get to work. Now inside the box, you're gonna have some adapters. I'll go ahead and show you those. So you have Chrysler, BMW, just a select few, and then our cables. This is gonna be a tablet interface, the Maxisys. This is the J2534 uh, ECU programming device. So we're gonna be using this guy. He connects to the ECU. This is a 2015 Jeep Wrangler. Let's go ahead and hook it up. So the first connection we'll make is into the OBD2 port underneath the dash here. And then we will take this connector to the vehicle, from the vehicle into the J2534. All right, so now we can make our USB connection. Go ahead and plug in the USB. And I'll go ahead and turn on the unit with the power button. And we'll let the unit initialize. All right, so the unit is ready. We'll go ahead and swipe over. And now we are in the diagnostics areas. So we're gonna click the diagnostics button. And right here, we are at Chrysler. And we are gonna collect the manual selection. System data is loading. And then we'll simply just go to the year 2015 team. So we'll swipe over and say JK Wrangler. And then we are gonna do a diagnosis and of the control unit and then of the powertrain ecu engine module it says make sure the ignition switch is on make sure that all the cables between the tester and the vehicle dlc are connected make sure the battery is charged and make sure the system is configured for the vehicle which we are so i'm going to go ahead and turn the ignition on but not start the vehicle all right so i'll click ecu again initializing with the ignition on diagnosis system initializing and then we'll go to read code. So that's one of the great features about this is that it obviously pull up any codes that are active or stored. No fault codes detected, which is great. And then we can go into an active test and this goes through all your fuel injectors, radiator, uh, fuel pump um, controls. Um, you can test your VVT exhaust and intake phasers for bank one and bank two fuel pump relay oxygen this is a wide variety of functions that you can do some active testing with which is really nice that um, feature of the maxi cyst one thing i really like to do is um, check live data you can go through all of your oil pressure ignition um, i use this very often when i'm looking at o2 sensors and then um, oil pressure is one as well and then um, cam uh, sink crank sink oil pressure um, exhaust uh, cam crank differences exhaust cam desired positions actual positions this is really good for testing uh, issues with um, cam sensors, cams, cam phasers, very good here, all of this data. Um, I've actually used this to troubleshoot failed tone wheels on a cam, so this definitely is a good um, way of diagnosing issues. Now another thing they also have here is your miscellaneous functions. I have the cam crank relearn anytime you do any work to the engine. Um, this function should be used anytime a repair has been made that requires a cam and crank relationship to relearn. So that's something we recently did with this engine when we replaced cams and swapped over some sensors. We obviously wanted to do the crank relationship relearn. Okay. Please start the engine. Engine is starting and the cam crank relearn is in process. And the cam crank relearn is complete. So we just click OK. 
So the next thing we're gonna do is do an exhaust phaser cleaning and an intake phaser cleaning on both bank one and bank two. We're gonna go ahead and start with exhaust phaser cleaning on bank one, phaser one. So this function should be used to help clean dirt and debris from the oil control valves. That's what we did in uh, earlier videos where we replaced those cam phasers. This is a good idea. I just did an oil change, so I wanna kinda cycle clean, fresh oil through those cam phasers. So I'm gonna go ahead and start the cycle. That one's complete. And then I'll do intake phaser. Now you may hear a difference in idle. You may hear a solenoid kick on. That's basically just turning on the valve, pulling in to allow oil to circulate through that cam phaser. And these cleaning processes are pretty quick, generally less than 30 seconds. This one's complete. And then we'll go to exhaust phaser two. Perfect, all four phasers have been cleaned and we're gonna get out of here. There's some other cool things you can do on this screen, but I'm going to um, go into live data and I'm just gonna share with you the oil pressure. Just keep in mind, you do not want your vehicle overheating. The hotter the engine, the lower the oil pressure can get. Um, so I'm gonna take you over to the coolant temperature and go ahead and share with you where we're at we're about 208 degrees so the thermostat seems to be working and then we're going to go into the oil pressure which is about 35 psi um, really good there as far as oil pressure anything below 16 or 16 you definitely want to consider looking at those oil galley plugs on the heads and or figuring out why you have very low engine oil pressure definitely with the 3.6 pentastar some advice is always keep that oil clean and up to the level that's recommended on the dipstick. But other than that, those are the really the main things I wanted to share with you on this Autel Maxisys um, scan tool. And I, I think it's really an awesome tool. I hope it's helpful to any viewers who are interested in doing this kind of thing. Um, and I'll leave all the part numbers and description in the description box below for the unit. So. That's it, we're gonna go ahead and exit out. You guys have a good day and we'll see you on the next video. So that's come off and then we will take off the cam phaser. Just like that. Go ahead and leave your chain slack like that and we'll go ahead and start breaking the bolts loose for the cam caps.